Okay, and welcome to the Rondo. We're back again. The pod is back. Going to be coming to you weekly now. Um, well, till, till we maybe have another little break before the new season starts. But definitely weekly across this Euros. It's your boy AA hosting. I am joined by... Max, good to be back. Come on, we've got a lot to discuss. Today. A lot to a discuss. Lot. A regular cast member. Yes. It's good to have him back in the studio. He's been he's been on holiday. Yeah, been, you know. Been really accelerating and doing well on his you on know. his TikTok as well. Yeah. So check that out 100%. at Max Waves. That is really doing numbers right now and he's yeah. been doing well across the Euros. And we also have Raf joining us, but he is late. Shame on him. But <laughs> <laughs> but no worries. Without further ado, so we are gonna go through everything euros of course we are in the thick of it now in the semi-final stage so we're going to just do a quick like reflection on how the euros has been how this competition has been very quickly just to start off with then we're going to talk about the england game as we progress through to the semis then we're going to do a recap across the other quarters quickly kind of going across them and then we're going to finish <clears throat> oh and then we're going to finish off there with some rondos and i'm also going to read out some tweets and we're going to react to them so we're going to see how we do so that'll be more of a miscellaneous section Cool. But cool. Looks like we've got a jam-packed agenda Let's to go it. through. Let's, do it, man. Let's start off with the Euro. So, Max, tell me, how have you been feeling the, the Euro so far? Mm. On the whole, the football, the games, uh, how, how have you found it? I've enjoyed it, to be fair, but I think there's been a few disappointments, I must mm. say. Um, a lot of cagey games. That's kind of what you expect in, in tournament football. Um, but a lot of the big players haven't really turned up. That's been mm. a bit of a disappointment for me. Uh, it's been good moments, really nice goals as well, actually. Yeah. Top goals. Um, but overall, slightly disappointed. I wouldn't say this is a Euros to remember, to be yeah. honest. Um, but we're in the, the business end of the tournament now, so who, who cares, right? It's all mm. about winning, and England are there. So that's the main thing that's for me. That's the main thing. Yeah, I think I, I agree with you. I think I was really enjoying Like, right at the start, mm. I kind of really enjoyed it. You had, like, a couple of, I suppose, tight games, but... A couple of uh, of the teams were playing really well, like mm -hmm. your Germany, your Spain, some really exciting games. Remember the Turkey Georgia yeah. game, and then yeah, I just thought it was going to kick on. I thought the last couple of group stages, mm -hmm. uh, group stage games, sorry, just a bit disappointed. And then as you said, I feel like uh, not a lot of big players have really risen. Like Mbappe's, you know, I, I know he is struggling with a broken nose, which he hasn't got surgery on, but he hasn't really kicked on. You think about some of the English players. Yeah neither and yeah just not really I don't think it'll be a Euros to remember no, no, no. I thought the World Cup was a lot more entertaining mm. a lot more like really good games and obviously a final which was amazing we still have some way to go mm. but yeah not sure it will really I, be I the Euros how, to remember how the Euros is set up like early on teams want to get that win straight away because if you if you get three points you're basically through mm. so get the win and we saw the best games early on and then you're seeing teams sit back they can nick a point uh, four points you're definitely through um, yeah so that's what I think we saw a lot yeah yeah I think that is is definitely a big element yeah so I guess we we'll have to see like mm. you said I think might not be a Euros to remember as the whole because yeah. of the football and the games but England are through to the semis yeah, with, exactly. with, with a good draw um, mm. we've had a pretty good draw so far I think Netherlands in the semis is is the best you can get yeah. out of the the four teams? I do think they are the weakest. So mm. if England win it, who the hell cares? I know. So, so yeah, be laughing at us. All. Yeah, yeah, he will be laughing at us. All, and you know, fair enough to him yeah, if he does play. manage it. Yeah. If he doesn't, I will be there. Yeah, I'll be there. As well. Don't worry. I will be there. I'm first. In I still. Line. Uh, yeah. He still doesn't quite convince me, but yeah, I think it is. He is doing a bit better. But mm. without further ado, I think we were just talking about England there. Let's talk about. The game so I guess you know we're through got mm -hmm. through on penalties before mm -hmm. we go through I've got a couple of key talking points I want to go go into but what, what's your thoughts on the on the performance on the whole I thought I thought it was better than the majority of the games mm -hmm. well pretty much all of the games to be honest. <laughs> yeah. but I didn't think it was anything to write home about mm -hmm. um, I was saying to you just off camera that BBC were glazed in the first half performance way too much a lot saying that we were this is what we want to see this is the fluidity I thought it was okay. I thought mm. it was a six out of ten. Switzerland are a good team, so it's not like we're against, you know, some of the. I thought Serbia, yeah, uh, Denmark, um, Slovenia. That they're like Switzerland are a lot better than yeah, them. Yeah, they are. Um, so we had a tough opponent, but um, I thought that goal was coming uh, in the second half. First half, yeah, we, we were dropped okay. off. I thought yeah, first half off. we dominated. I thought we pinned them back well. Yeah. Then I thought we took our foot off the gas as we just tend to in games. We can't mm. really. We we could never really sustain pressure too much and. Yeah, and, and, and they nicked that goal. Mm. So, you know, I think you, you're right there. But I think what was good is that we, 
you know, we got a goal back, which yeah. was which was key. And it's a common thing with England and Southgate teams. It's like I can sense there's a goal coming. Mm. We drop back and there's no out ball. So Kane is literally like, we know how deep he comes. And he loses all the jewels um, when we're, you know, that's not his strength in terms of like yeah. running in behind or whatever. Um, and then I, I just sense that a goal's coming. And yeah. before you know it, Southgate's too late to make the changes. Bang. Thought and he then was he's a reactive with the changes. Again. Yeah. And Makes the sub as soon as we uh, concede, concede and yeah. just throws on like loads of attackers. Nah, that was weird. <laughs> yeah. That was weird. This sub was really weird, that but was strange. it did kind of work out in the end. What did you think about the shape change? Did you think that was key to us performing better? We obviously yeah. went to a to a three four three. Um was interesting to see, you know, Saka who was the man of the match mm. was playing that right wing back, which was a which was yeah. an interesting change. So what are your thoughts on that? No, it helped um much more, but I didn't really notice too much of a difference, to be honest, because Saka naturally helps a lot defensively anyway. Mm. So was, he was playing like the hybrid right wing back, but he was pushing up a lot and yeah. caused their their left wing back a lot of problems. He was our best player yesterday. Yeah, he me? was, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Stood out with a goal. Great finish, by the way. Um, but yeah, I think we need to stick with this. Um, yeah. Through the back. I agree. I think we should uh, stick with it. I mm -hmm. think it, it seems to make us just kind of play better. It yeah. looks like we, we look structured. I feel mm. like... Yeah, first couple of games, it just didn't really seem to be a real structure to us. They, yeah. we, we just didn't seem, there didn't seem to be a lot of chemistry. With the 3-4-3, three, three, we look like a team. Definitely. Now, are we performing at a, a real high level? Do we, Have I seen anything to the levels of what I saw from Germany and Spain, for instance? No. All this talk of, oh, we look so fluid no, and, no. and the rotations. I, no, I'm no. not sure where this yeah. is coming from. But anyway, to go into kind of some of the key talking points. So Bakayo Saka, as you said, you said he was the man of the match. He scored yeah. an absolute worldie of the goal. Like that's the proper, you know, your nation needs you yeah, and, yeah. and you turn up. So that kind of glides past yeah. two players coming in the inside and smacks it in. Keeper doesn't even die. No, no. Real goal, by the way. Yeah. Start boy. Accuracy on that was, yeah. What was pinpoint. Oh. Um, and he scored his penalty as well, which was nice mm. to see after everything that happened in the last Euros. Yeah. Is Bukayo Saka respected enough? Because I think the question I'm going to ask you is often, it's kind of been pushed down us recently, mm. Bellingham as the as the kind of the star boy. Back in the day, it was Foden. Mm. Bellingham, he's turned up for England a little bit, but a lot of people question his performances over the 90. Mm. Foden has never really been able to carry England in any sort of a fashion. No. A lot of people say, and, and in my opinion as well, Saka's been our best player over the last, you know, kind of three tournaments two tournaments it looks like it might be this one yeah does he get enough respect no he doesn't um mm. i think the other options like bellingham foden for example they're more sexier so they're better on the eye saka for me is just all about efficiency mm. you know what he's gonna do but you can't stop him and he, that, that's his strength cutting in on that left foot how often do we see that for arsenal in the league yeah no one can stop him um and he doesn't get enough respect uh so consistent never really drops a stinker does he yeah uh, especially for england and yeah like you said in the fir first euros he played in uh he came in really young i think he was 18 at the time mm -hmm. done really well in the world cup he was our best player yeah um, in 2022 so no he doesn't doesn't get enough respect and um i think it's partly because of how well-rounded he is as a footballer yeah. like he can um fulfill so many roles um so that doesn't really help him but shows how good he is uh, as an overall footballer for me yeah yeah no I, I completely agree with you I do think he deserves more respect I think he is an absolute pivotal player to us and he kind of deserves more PR around him like yeah. you said I do think his playing style feeds into it because he's such a like he's such a kind of like efficient player mm. and then I also think as well like the likes of Jude Bellingham and Foden I think Foden's a bit of a natural media yeah. darling and you know kind of looking like you know what most people in Britain do Bellingham is kind of a Madrid star yeah. you know it's kind of good looking yeah, etc yeah. so maybe they're more kind of people that, that people want to get I mean, in behind yeah. and people just don't want to judge the football but yeah I think you know Saka's quality mm -hmm. is is you know un, undeniable and mm -hmm. I think he kind of deserves more respect I think one thing for Saka I think he's a absolute quality player and it's not necessarily a criticism I just think that I feel like he can be more arrogant in this game yeah. like you look at that goal he scored um, I can't remember a goal like well he scored a couple like that but I think the, the, the major one that a lot of people remember is the one that he did against United yeah. uh, kind of uh, this season and I just look at Saka I feel like he's got the capability to to have moments like that, to mm. take on players more. Like you can see all of the abilities there, but I think he always almost, he doesn't want to waste the ball. No, he wants to be yeah. efficient, wants to be too much of a team player. Yeah, yeah. You can be a bit more selfish, Saka. That, that shows how humble he is. You though. know, yeah, but I think he needs a bit of, 
you okay. know, if he wants to be a real talisman, okay, yeah, he needs yeah, to be yeah. a little bit more that's arrogant. Step, yeah, yeah, that's next step. When I look at Saka, I see like a Di Maria almost in him, in okay, the way yeah. that he plays. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, kind of. Listen, if you if you finish your career and people kind of compare you to Di Maria, there's no take that yeah, you take the whole yeah, day. Yeah, but I just I do see an ability there to go mm. on and be a talisman for England and his and his club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll yeah, we'll we'll just have to see if, uh, if which way yeah. it goes. Cool. All right, another talking point I want to kind of quickly go over. So penalties, mm -hmm. five out of five. Five out of five. And some and some pretty damn good penalties as well. Yeah. Um, what's your thoughts on that? You know, I think historically England, mm. we, you know, have always been quite poor yeah. over penalties. Is it is there a turning point now? Potentially, I think the big we had to get over it, and that was World Cup eighteen against Colombia. Um, things have changed from there. We obviously lost the one against Italy, but I think players nowadays approach penalties a lot more differently they're a lot more prepared um, stand by their technique and it does help that our penalty takers like our, our, our starting 11 going into that penalty shootout was just much more technically gifted than Switzerland mm. Switzerland's first two penalty takers were their centre backs Yeah, for me that was like a big sign a like, big telling you us. don't want that do you? yeah Come no on. you don't you, yeah. you want someone to step forward one of your, your front men um, Palmer stepped up for us and I think a lot of those takers actually take penalties for their club so that helps as yeah well. they do like Saka Tony uh, Palmer. and Palmer yeah, yeah. Oh, that's you know having those three yeah. and, they, and like they take them for the club and they're very accurate you very. know they've got like kind of I think Palmer scored all of his yeah. I think Tony's been in the Premier League for like two seasons now he's got like kind of a 92 yeah it's mental percent rate and he's got a hell of a technique yeah, as well. He's does. Like, you see mad, like we did a little though. rondo post on it as well. That he doesn't look at the ball. I know it's crazy. Whole time. Yeah. Oh, it's mental. Yeah. That I, pressure to do that. That pressure to do that. I thought he might, you know, kind of come out of his traditional mm -hmm. technique a bit and take a little glance at the ball just before it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he went straight for it. I like 100%. his arrogance and his confidence. Same, same. RM in the building. Same. Just Let's there, my bro. So yeah, I think yeah, I think I think that was uh yeah, good, good, all good, all good, all good. What are we talking about? Uh, we're just talking about the penalties. Oh, uh, the but penalties. the the mic, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good penalties, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah very cold. good penalties. Yeah, no, how good is it to see our boy score the last one as well? Oh man, I love it. Yeah, I, loved I it. feel like it was a good moment for him because I don't feel like I felt sorry for him this year as I feel like Southgate mm. threw him into midfield where mm. in a, in a time where we didn't have a lot of structure, yeah, I also feel day. like he's you know yeah. he's 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 a you know, he's the best attacking fullback in the world, but he insists on playing him in midfield. Hasn't got that opportunity to play at fullback, even though, you know, the likes of Trippier and Walker have. I And they haven't been great, by the way. Yeah, they have not been great. So it was nice for him to at least, you know, have a moment. I thought I thought that was good for him. Yeah, no, I think um, I was so nervous though when he stepped up. Like, can you imagine the backlash if he missed that? Yeah, it would have been. He's a natural skater. I wasn't nervous for any of them, you know. No? Really? Yeah, like, I think they've been good. Obviously, They've, there's the one Saka and Rashford missed in the final but yeah. other than that England's been alright in penalties and I think the players as well English players tend to be quite good at penalties like you look in the Prem yeah. I think everyone kind of focuses on technique I mm. think because it's been such a like thing in the English media they actually mm. do practice and you can see the effort that goes yeah. into it mm -hmm. I was a little bit so I was nervous when Kane came off and I was thinking, oh, that's a real good penalty taker to, to, to come off. And then I like looked on the pitch and realised we had Tony on, we had Saka, Absolutely. we had Palmer. And I was like, I'm very confident going into <laughs> They're this penalty shootout. Like, these are, that's it. And then we had, we still had better than on. And yeah, when Trent came up, I was a little bit. But once I saw him, I saw it like his, because he's zoning on yeah, his face. I was yeah. like, no, nah, he's he's locked in. And like, I believe in he's, his technique. Like there's no one better from a dead ball. Yeah, but yeah. like it was just like that moment, the pressure. Um, but yeah, stuck it away perfectly. Did um, anyone see the video of him talking to his family after? Yeah, yeah. I saw that. I saw <laughs> said that. that he didn't want to take one. No, yeah. not he didn't want to take. No, he didn't. Want, no, he said one of them. Yeah, who's he talking about? He then? was talking it's, about someone, and he said that. They said yeah. they're talking about Foden. Pe Foden. Yeah, people are speculating uh, that it was about Foden. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait, do you have something that you want to say about Foden? He's rubbish, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's so rubbish. I thought he played better. To be fair, no. You don't think he played better? First 20 minutes. Okay. And then... And then he kind But of it's played. only because... So the first 20 minutes, they were kind of... Um, they were just giving him like loads of space. They were pushing up. And then I think their managers basically realised what's going on, changed, and then he's nullified. Mm -hmm. And if you're nullified after just one little tactical adjustment, 
What does that really say for you mm, as a player? Yeah. Let's so you, discuss that. So there's a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of, uh, we were discussing it earlier, there's a lot of like kind of, you know, a big media push around Foden being the golden boy of England. Do you, do you buy that then? No, it's terrible, man. <laughs> it's the, I don't know what's wrong with this country. It's like we haven't, it's like we suffer from a lack, from just a lack of having. So when we get something good, we do too much and we get a bit too excited. So mm. I think with Foden, because we rarely see these type of players in England, these type of technical mm -hmm. midfielders. We all, we've all kind of deluded ourselves. Or I say we all, I'm not including myself in that. Mm. But um, we've all as a country kind of deluded ourselves into thinking he's this kind of all action, you know, calm on the ball, plays with like Pauser, can dictate and control a midfield just because he's technically nice. Mm. Um, mm. And it's just not the case at all. He's just not that type of player. He's very much pick up the ball, look up, shoot. And after that, there's really not much there. Yeah, that is one thing I've noticed with Foden, like, and I th I, creatively, he's actually not that good. Yeah. I think because he's so technically brilliant, he, he takes the ball well in the pockets. You think that he's a really creative 10, but he doesn't, he's, he's not, not that great at unlocking defenses. He, he's got a strike on him. Mm. He's got a hell of a strike on him, but he doesn't, but obviously for his type of player, if he's playing in those advanced positions, yeah. you want him to be able to create. Yeah. He's, actually, he's actually not that good at it, which is I mean, but even at City, surprising. he's never tasked with that role. No, he's not, to be fair. I think there's, I was going to wait for this for the tweet section, but I'll just read that out to both of you. Someone said, Foden's England performances make me so excited for Pep to leave City. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I was, like, uh, literally, yeah. I was actually just about to say, is, is he a player that needs everything to be perfect around mm. him? Because he, he, yeah. he gives that to me. I mean, that's a lot of talk about City plays in the Euros. They don't really perform as well outside of Pep's system. But I think that applies to him a lot more than, than any other. Yeah, I agree. And I think that's what, that's what was very confusing about the narrative, especially after the first couple of games um, for England. All of the pundits, especially like Micah Richards, all they're talking about, oh, he needs more freedom. Foden's not, you need to kind of give him mm. a free role and just let him do whatever he wants and get go into areas where he can dictate. And I, I just found that very confusing because he plays for probably the, the strictest manager in the world. He's probably plays with, he in that England team is one of the players that's told the most what to do. Yeah, but he's he, is given a a, he, he was given a role last season that kind of, you would say gets the best out of him in that kind of left attacking mid position. Like but he, very... he's never been, he's, it's not a free role. No, it's not a free His, role. What, yeah, what yeah, he yeah. does for City is very choreographed. No, it is, yeah. So but I don't I think understand what they were why for England... They were saying he's playing left wing, so he needs to be able to come inside a bit more. But I think he was coming like inside quite a lot. Word. And also, it's 20 yards, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's stop the excuses for him, because I've seen Foden ball out of left wing before. For City. Exactly. Yeah, I've seen him rip James Milner. I know he's a 37-year-old James Milner or whatever. Player, though. But <laughs> he, he, he can... He can do it. And the performances that we saw early on in the tournament were, I mean, even on Saturday, it's not good enough. It's mm. not. Cool. All right, guys. Last topic with England because we've got lots to talk about. Can we win? No. You don't think so? <laughs> no. What, what, why not? We're rubbish. <laughs> we're rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> like the semis, man. Yeah, but we, we've done it. I don't know. We keep getting very, very lucky with our draws. Yeah. Um, we, yes, I'm saying. I think we've got so lucky with our draws. I don't, like, Netherlands. I don't feel like... Yeah, Netherlands They're not me. world beaters. Like, they're not, but they're, the, problem, the problem for us is facing a team that's tactically well-drilled and well-coached. And mm. obviously, it's international football, but... Netherlands compared to England, it's not. No, they do look better, but we are quite defensively solid. I think like that is one thing that you. I have don't to think get... we are at all. You don't think we're defensively solid? solid. No, not well, at we, all. We're we, very. We, we don't concede a lot of goals because we haven't faced good. We haven't faced good attackers essentially. Okay, okay. But teams enough. haven't struggled to create chances against us, mm. and they don't struggle to get into our half. That's actually a good point because yeah, I thought no, I think that's a fair point. Uh, created a lot of chances against us. Yeah. Um, didn't really take them but if, if, if we get Spain in the final I think we could we're get finished we, yeah, we we're could get finished but because it's a final you never know you never know so, but yeah. this is but I think we've got I think we've got the luck of the draw listen I the, thought England bro. were going to go out a lot earlier than they did but I just mm. I saw the draw and I did say we might scum, lot, we might scum it to the final and then you never know yeah. in the final I didn't know we'd be on like I, yeah. didn't, I didn't look at the draws because, too tough so because I do hear what you say about Netherlands but I still don't think Netherlands have enough quality where you're where, Maybe, you're, where I think they're gonna it's be it's a borderline yeah it's a borderline I think it'll be a, it won't be an easy game England games never are <laughs> but I still feel like we could scum it as well because I just don't yeah. feel like they have enough quality for me to be really worried now listen if we got like a Germany or Spain finished. earlier yeah, 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 finished. I, I think we could have we, we could have got embarrassed actually yeah, yeah. but I, I do think we, we if could, we if we come, I think if we've we, got a chance in a final you and it, it, form goes out the window isn't it? yeah exactly yeah. in a final form goes out the window because you, you can like 
and like, you know Southgate as well. You can scum it like across the first thirty minutes, ruin, kind of ruin Spain's sort of like, rhythm, and then it's, listen, and Bellingham's then you never gonna know. live for that, man. Huh? That's Bellingham's gonna live for that. Oh yeah, game. exactly. If, if we get France in the final, that might be the worst. Well, it might be the worst oh, watch ever. Oh, the way we both played this tournament, that will be. Do you oh, know guys. what? No, I feel like that can end Don't up. Don't watch it. No, that but can end up more surprising us. Of winning. Yeah, yeah, 100%. That game could end up surprising you. It's like, you know when you get, you put two bad teams yeah, against yeah. each other and it's just end-to-end. End, uh, end I, end. I don't think so. I, don't, I really don't think so. I don't know. I think you're going to see two deep nah, teams. I don't know. It'll be, and, and just I'm space you, in the middle. And nobody's it, it'll be, be like a United game. I'm telling you. That's who this England team play like. They play, they, they're set up exactly like Manchester United and they have the exact same flaws. <laughs> and they might scum their way to a final and beat an elite team. Just like Man United. Fair enough. All right, cool. Moving forward, all right, let's look at some of the other quarters. So uh, the one I wanted to do a little bit of a spotlight on was Germany-Spain, because I thought that was a great watch. I think that was the best game I've watched across this the Euros. Knockouts. Yeah, well, definitely across the knockouts, but it's been my favorite across this Euros, I think, because of the quality on the, the pitch. Georgia I thought, oh, the Georgia-Turkey mm. game was quite good, to be fair, yeah. But I thought, yeah, um, just two teams trying to play, going straight at it, some really good pressing off the ball, some great intricate play on the ball. Um, what's the thoughts on the game? I quickly? thought it was quality, man. Uh, I said I said in my video I thought it had like the perfect amount of everything. So there was a bit of bite in there. It, was, it got quite nasty. Um, a few tackles early on. Cruz set the tone, obviously, um, with the the tackle on Pedri. Um, but there was right amount of quality, um, right amount of drama. Last minute goal. I loved it from start to finish. That's the the best game in the tournament for nice, me. Nice, nice, nice. I don't know if quality is the word I use. I think it, there was more quality than what we've seen in the other matches. But I still don't call that a high quality match. Oh, you're you're just you're ridiculous. That was a high quality match, bro. There was good play, yeah, for international level as well. Remember, these aren't uh, cheap, you know, kind of players that play each other every week. I mm. feel like it was it was good quality in terms of some of the quick passing um, and the and the attacking as well. I disagree. I think a lot of the quick attacking came about because of a lack of quality. Well, each of, each of own. both Spain goals were quality goals, though. Yeah, like, exactly. especially the first goal. Um, Big up to Olmo. Uh, Danny Olmo was like man of the match when he came on. Yeah. And, uh, oh, he played well. Yeah, he's he he quality. Yeah. And Cruz thought he'd done a job good. on Pedri, but... Yeah, but then Danny Olmo yeah, came and he, <laughs> and, he, and he shut it down, yeah, didn't he? he? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's, yeah, basically, yeah, he yeah, ended up retiring himself. Uh, funny enough, on Cruz, legacy-wise, mm -hmm. what's, our, what's our thoughts on him? He obviously, you know, he is now retired. Up there. Up there. Yeah, up there. yeah, up there. Up there-ish. There. There Not top, top, but up there. Okay, so he's kind of across the last 10, 15 years, where does he, where does he rank? He's you top know, five. Top five. In his oh. um, generation. In his generation. In, yeah, in this generation, yeah. Top, top five. five. Yeah, Who, yeah, who's yeah. ahead of him? Modric. Mm -hmm. uh, Iniesta. Yeah, yeah, it depends what you count as this you, generation yeah, counts as well. different generations. Like Xavi, Iniesta. Them players are the kind of the start of his. Start of his, yeah. yeah it's a bit, okay. But, it's hard, but yeah. he's... he's He's a quality player. He's a quality player. I love yeah. watching him play. So. Yeah. Top five. Yeah, I don't think he goes down as like kind of top five goat level, mm. anything like that. He's, I, why? I wouldn't, I wouldn't put him with like the Zidane's or anything. No, okay, okay. Like that. Why, think, why not? I just think, and and I, I agree with you. you know I think what? he's no, a, he's a level that, off the Zidane. No, because as I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say, the same question marks you could actually apply to Zidane in that there's obviously there's question marks around in terms of he's there's aspects to his game that obviously could improve and you see you had to mm. kind of play complementary profiles next to him which of course goes for every player yeah um but we are we're discussing fine margins here mm -hmm. who's the best of all time and then i think again with that there's i just think across his career i can't ever say he's like been the guy for his team yeah Do you know what i mean mm. he's always been he's he's been like a star a star player in a star team, mm. but he's like, if you're gonna he's say- not the guy. Yeah, like. if, if this is gonna be like the Chicago Bulls, he's not Michael Jordan, he's like yeah. a Pippin or Rodman. Do you think that's the nature of his role though? I was as a, say, as a, as a... No, because you can have midfielders that are- those Deep midfielders? I wouldn't call, he could. Chris <laughs> operates quite no, deep. No, he's not the deepest midfielder, like he's not- He's often next to the deepest midfielder. Because, Sometimes he plays, yeah. yeah. He always kind yeah, of plays- Because he wants quite... to come and do that fake controlling thing. But fake he... controlling? Yeah, yeah, fake controlling. Controlling. <laughs> fake controlling. It's not fake controlling. It when you're dropping into the back, why? I hate when centre midfielders do that. Drop into the, no, bro, that's a, the, what he's doing now for Germany. That's an instruction. <sighs> yeah, but it's, yeah, some, it's an instruction, but 
you don't have to do it all the time. There's sometimes you're doing it. You don't need no, to. No, but it's an instruction. You don't from... need to do it. You're doing it because it's easier. No, but it's an instruction from from mm. Nagelsmann. This one definitely. Like Maybe. you can see in their but shape. Of course, that of course it's career. Do. Something. Of course, it's career. You always. But I think yeah, that them he, German midfielders asked... like to do that though. The Kimmiches, the crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's asked to do that <laughs> though a lot, so. and I think that's the nature of his role. But I, I agree with you in not not that last bit. I don't know what was going on there, mm. but in part in the sense that I think. For a midfield, I think you have to cater for him quite a bit yeah, because he, he likes to operate mm. so deep, but he's not that good also, defensively. Pirlo's yeah, Pirlo has done it. Oh, Pirlo yeah. has yeah, done yeah. it. Yeah, who I think was a better DLP than him. I think that's a yeah. good example. So I do think top top player, but I think you do have to cater for him a, a little yeah. bit. And I just think other players, um, other midfield, great midfielders mm. are able to. You know what it is with Cruz? I think he, he always plays well, but does he really like ever, you, you're you like, Cruz is changing yeah, the game Yeah, right do you know what I mean? He doesn't define games. Yeah, he doesn't really define games, right. does he? You know what I mean? Whereas other guys mm. like you, the Iniesta's as a dance, yeah. like you're like, bro, the, also, everything is running through him right yeah. now. Xavi as well. Mm. He's um, not so even yeah. the goal midfielder in his own team. Modric, yeah. yeah, I, would, yeah, yeah. I would say Modric right. is always, and that's, that's the thing. Modric can do what Cruz does. And then you can also- And then you can affect it. And then you can affect it kind of going yeah. forward as well. I mean, Modric is a hell of a midfielder. Mm. I, I think he can he can roam in playmate. He can deep playmate. He, can, do anything, he yeah. could probably play. He could play ten back in the day if you wanted him he to. Did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he play like left midfielder. Now. Yeah, he's, 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 he's a freak. He's, he's, yeah, he's yeah, like yeah. So I think yeah, no, I do think those are those are good points. Nice just player, just back on Spain. Do, oh so, oh, while we're talking about Tony Cruz though. Oh, the, the quote that came out. <laughs> you, have, you, have you seen? I'll put it in the chat. No, I've seen he the did, quote. No, yeah, the, he didn't actually... Oh, he didn't say that? No, he didn't say oh, that, okay. yeah, yeah. He did comment on the fact that he feels like Germany has gone mm -hmm. has gone left um, and, you know, it's, they, they need to do... I don't know what his actual reason was, but he, he is staying was in Was it Spain. fake comments, I know? Huh? Was it fake comments? It was it was translated wrongly. Oh, That's what Senegal ah, said. Yeah, yeah. Right, Senegal ah, said. Yeah. I, I, we don't, yeah. We don't speak German. <laughs> <laughs> That's the excuse. I can't like, it's, it's a major cock off on their end. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. saying that about him is is why, crazy. Why would you say, like one day after you retired as well? Like yeah. yeah. Why would you give say it, something like that? Like, give it a little bit so of time. I mean, yeah. Wait, your your political career don't have to start now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, was, what what was what was kind of mad though is that it was it was very believable. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. I didn't know you stretched that far. I feel like Cruz comes across as a little bit pretentious, but I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> he said, "My my immigration is fine, but everybody else's." Yeah, <laughs> hey, yeah man, no, I'm just yeah. saying. Who, who 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 managed him at, when he was with Germany when he was at Bayern? Yeah. Same. And um, anyway, I just wanted to bring it back to Spain. Um, I think one person we spoke about, Danny Olmo. Another person I wanted to speak about very quickly was Fabian Ruiz. So oh, he was nice. Yeah, he's very nice. He's a player that I, like I've seen a couple of times for PSG, never really been that wild. Thought they didn't really have much to yeah. him. Um he's he, been amazing this year. He Euros. was really good at Napoli. Oh, okay. Yeah, he yeah. there was um he when he played against oh who was he next to? Zelensky or was it the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zelensky yeah, yeah. and the, that that DM I've forgotten his name, but the old one. Yeah, the old one, yeah. Hamshik. Yeah, but so. nice. Yeah, he was he was really good for Napoli, but since the PSG move has kind of tailed off, but no, he played really well. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. a nice player, yeah. nice on the eye to watch, and he's actually chipped him with a couple of goals this tournament as well. Yeah, um, he has. Yeah, chipped him a couple of goals. He makes good third man runs. He yeah, looks like he a, does. looks like a real solid uh, box to box midfielder. They got nice know. midfield balance. Mm. Uh, I've seen a lot. You talking about that on your TikTok? Their midfield set out really nicely. With Rodri, Rodri is a joke, by the way. Yeah, yeah, he's, <laughs> quite, he's an absolute unit. Yeah, um, he's been playing really well. Yeah, like carrying him. them, carrying them. I think. I think that's the key for international football, though. If you've got that midfield free sorted. Mm. The rest kind of sorts itself. It out. helps a lot, right? Yeah. Because I think it's it's hard to like develop a system that controls games. But exactly. if you have a midfield that, that does, does it, it for you, you then yeah. then you're then you're where you want to be. And yeah, Spain definitely have that. So are Spain our favourites then? <sighs> they got to be favourites, sure. Yeah, but uh, they played the best football, and coming up against a stingy France team, but. France have not moved me in the slightest. Yeah. The thing is, France, France got the ability to scum it. They do, they do. That's the thing. They're and really, this is, and this is what their defence is really good. this is good. what France do as well. That is what they do. Yeah, That's what they've yeah. been doing. Um, so, yeah. And like now that they don't have, like I feel like France's, the quality of their squad has gone mm. down a little bit. Yeah. I think it's, but they it's really showing how, Pogba. how, yeah, yeah they miss Pogba. Massively. I think they miss Griezmann as well. Obviously, he's still there, but like him in prime, because mm. he's, I, I feel like he's, 
he's not done anything this I year. Hasn't, yeah, hasn't. Uh, where, the, where he's I, normally like him and Pogba, I think are so key as would, to be able to kind of almost like while they're in that deep block, really quickly transition. Exactly, yeah. Like they, their they ability in their team. prime, mm. they can just kind of turn like a very static sort of game state into an attack out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, but they don't have that anymore yeah. and they have looks stale. Yeah, but yeah, I, I really want Spain to beat France though in that semis because yeah, I really? just, I cannot, really? I, I do not want to see France continue this scumming. <laughs> like, they, I, don't like, I, I, I don't like Spain winning, man. Right, why? They're just so, oh, like they, they're just so pretentious. Yeah. Me, you know? oh. <laughs> they are. They're right like there. the Arsenal fans of international yeah. football. It's like, oh. They are, and we do it beautifully. Yeah, we do it the right yeah, way. Like, yeah, we do it the right way, yeah. And these men have just, what they do now is play it direct, but that's yeah, another story. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, that's the thing. That Spain, have a, they go on about their purest football, but having two direct wingers in Yamal and helps. Williams has it's helped them a lot. Yeah. Has helped them a lot. But um, cool. Moving forward, uh, let's recap a little bit on the other quarterfinals. So I think we've spoken a bit about the about France. Who are France playing again? Portugal. Portugal. So we spoke a bit about <laughs> hey man, just just a, just a, just a little brain fart there. Uh, so we spoke a little bit about France Portugal. Um, yeah, that was one of the worst games I've ever watched. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was. Up there, up there. Hey guys, that was bad. That was. Oh. That was you know, I slept for a little bit, like for ten minutes. <laughs> no, yeah, I fell asleep for like ten minutes. Yeah, a few of these Euro, yeah, a few of yeah, these yeah, matches. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. I because it was the eight o'clock kickoff. Yeah. What's the five o'clock kickoff? Um, I ate like a big portion of jello fries. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and it the timings are dangerous. I slept a little yeah. bit in extra time. I couldn't couldn't cope anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. So I think we all agree that it was not good. It it was it was pretty boring. Uh, why why do you think that was the mm, case? I wonder. Both teams just. I knew it was going to be a stink fest. Mm. I knew it. I was only interested when the penalties came on, and um, yeah, the penalty shootout was the most exciting thing about that game. There yeah. was no, literally nothing. I, I thought Portugal would pr probably edged it on chances, and they they should have probably took one. Vitinha had a good one. Yeah, uh, he's been oh, really he had good. a big one. Yeah, he's, he's been really, really good, good tournament. tournament, but um, just an absolute yeah, it was awful. I hate it. Good. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, France went through. I think we spoke a little bit about France as a team, so I don't want to do too much there. And um, I think on Portugal, one thing I wanted to speak about is Ronaldo has come out and said that he feels like he will be ready to play. Is he taking a miss <laughs> at, at the 2026 World Bro, Cup? Bro, give uh, he thinks, up, he thinks man. That he thinks that he still has that in them. Uh, Max, so you've kind of did, I saw a in couple of interesting TikToks on him in yeah. general I thought him in that oh, sorry what was that game before oh, this one against so, uh, Slovenia oh Slovenia oh. guys no, no, it's most painful. that Ronaldo performance was actually like I was actually worrying about his mental state like Bro. Um, what's off this is this is the player you guys tried to gaslight me on for, the, <laughs> for a year and a half. Don't worry, I'm a coming to you. A year and a half. I'm, I want apologies. <laughs> I want loud ones. I, I'm coming to you after. Don't worry, just Max first. <laughs> you can't wait, can you? Bro. Just Max first. What do, what, what do you think of him saying that he wants to play at the 2026 World Cup? Laughable. Like, mm. I get a lot of hate on a few videos from Ronaldo's stands, but just give it up, man. Just, please, <laughs> just give it up. Like, yeah. no one is expecting you to be this this world class player anymore like you're mm. 39 you've done goat level things in football please just like hang your boots up Ooh. and go enjoy Saudi like international football is not for you anymore this is why he's such a ridiculous guy because if he retired at 35 it'd be so much easier yeah. to defend his legacy <laughs> but this thing yeah of the past five bro you've ruined your legacy uh, I, don't, I think you that's know, a stretch no because his legacy is no, 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 le bro. no because his legacy has always been about him versus Messi yeah. And up until about, up until he started embarrassing himself, yeah, <laughs> there was always, you could always make the case either okay. or, yeah, mm. even though we really, we do, we, we all know it's messy. Yeah. Yeah. This past five years, he's, he's, he's ruined the up. legacy. Yeah. So you think the legacy is ruined? In you terms of, in you're, terms you're of his comparison going, to Messi? Yeah, but it's, that's done now, isn't it? Yeah, you think just kind of with, oh, yeah. but I feel like if he had retired, Messi still would have got that World Cup, so. I don't know, would the hunger have been there? From Messi's yeah, side? Yeah, bro. Mm. But what what makes what made Ronaldo so good is is literally destroying him in front of our eyes. That's yeah, work, yeah, yeah. Work. it's that that mentality, that mentality and, that, and that desire I'll, to to, to yeah. be the best. He's a sociopath. Isn't he is yeah, starting. Yeah, to, yeah. He, he is actually, actually a sociopath. Really you, you, we're beginning to see it now a lot. Did Listen, you see? I he feel... said, um, sorry, quickly. He said there was a quote. He said, um, basically, the winger spent too much time doing tricks and not getting the ball into him. Is that what you said? Yeah, and I was just all I could think about was Van Nistelrooy. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, man, this said the same thing. Mm. He's now become that grumpy Bro, old man. You, you live long enough. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. See yourself become the villain. Hundred percent. The thing is with Ronaldo, I actually thought 
you know, he didn't get a goal, which he needed to. But I thought kind of general striker play until the, the knockout phases were, I don't know. I thought he was okay. No. I thought he was okay. No. I, I still feel like he shouldn't start for Portugal. I feel like they should go with Jota or even like Gonzalo Ramos, guy no, I don't think is great. No, no. But I think, I think he can... If he's willing, I think the Wrong. problem is he's not willing to take a backseat role no, no, for no. Portugal. I think it could be an all right uh, kind of part of the squad, in my opinion. Yeah, but he wouldn't accept. But he wouldn't accept yeah, it. Exactly. Like you look at, uh, like there was images out of Suarez. Suarez is actually part of the Uruguayan yeah. squad, but he said, is he? "Yeah, he is." But he doesn't play because he's like, he's just happy I, to I think he's there. played like mm. ten minutes or something like that he's over a the tournament. He says Nunes is the nine. Mm. It's you know, it's kind of gone, gone. But yeah, he's basically a mascot, which I think. We'd be massive for Perfect Portugal. Role for Ronaldo. I think exactly. I think Ronaldo exactly. should be doing like 15, 20 minutes. We need a goal. I still think he's got. You can see that he's box moving. instinct. Still, yeah. No, you, you saw the move. No, no, in the box. He, in the box, bro. It is. If you saw the way he lost Upamecano Carno on the cutback, yeah. it was unreal yeah. movement, bro. Okay, fine, but you, wow, you do it once every ninety minutes. Well, if he's coming on for fifteen minutes, he can True. still. He okay, can. No, he no, can no, be effective. Yeah. I think yeah. he can do that role all right. But I think the problem is he needs to be the star. He needs to take oh, every free kick. Oh my god, the free kicks, bro, bro. He tried to take it back to Portsmouth. You see the one that he bro, took from the left? Bro. I'm like, Bernardo Silva wanted to cross it. He said, get out. Bro. I couldn't, I said, no the way, Ronaldo. The and then is, I saw yeah. the stance. At this, He's Homelander. Bro. He's home. <laughs> but this Ronaldo not being good at free kick, it's not even like it's a recent thing. Nah. It's ever since his knee injury. Yeah. Like, it's, he's he's, he's, he's it's struggled since with since 2011, he hasn't been able to. Do, <laughs> no, I'm being dead serious. Nah, it's, since, I can't lie. Since 2011, his he hasn't been able to take a free kick. off. Bro, it's 13 years now, he hasn't been able to take a free kick. Why are we still having You know, there's a stat he's taken about. 60 odd free kicks in international competitions he scored no, one just the euros no, just the Euro. I think, no, I think, no it's just the euros it's just the euros, just the euros. Nah, he scored one some of those free kicks yeah if that was on FIFA I wouldn't shoot like, that's why are you shooting I wouldn't do you know what I mean the one, the one with the angle with the tight angle that bro, was the one gosh, ridiculous bro. I'm like, like bro like you're you're so trying to like, 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 no bro that Slovenia game was bad bro that was that was like mental illness the tears as well yeah yeah crime just a ridiculous he's such a ridiculous human being at this point it's so off putting and to think I spent so much of my life like defending this him. guy yeah, yeah. I bro <laughs> do you know do you know how many arguments I had with my brother defending him after he said he was um, after he said he was a slave for Man United and yeah. that he, they were locking him in prison yeah, yeah. I defended you bro yeah, and you're no. here you're making me look Wait, like you're a United fan isn't it? yeah yeah to yeah. be fair a lot of United fans can't actually admit what you, you've admitted about yeah, him, so. they're, they're a lot of them still defend him yeah, yeah. Bro, a, lot, so a lot of them say a lot of them say like I saw a United fan Kind of uh, criticizing Hoyland and saying that you, you look at look at his level. This is why we need Ronaldo yeah. back in the game that Denmark had. Mm. And I was like, really, Word. really. Like, this is the thing. I get, I get why you know, you know when Liverpool with Liverpool fans, you know when you cast Suarez and Gerrard, they get proper defensive because they don't have no one else. But with United, we got <laughs> Cheers, Bear man. Man to choose. From. <laughs> we got so many other people to choose from. It's like, why is Ronaldo the guy you have to? Like, why this? This is the hill to die on. It makes. Bro, anyway. and also this guy can't even make it to the to the next World Cup because it's in America. <laughs> <laughs> Can you? Right, uh, okay, moving on. <laughs> that's mad. That's mad. This guy, <laughs> this guy, man. Uh, um. Anyway, kind of moving on. So Netherlands, Netherlands. Uh, beat. Hey, I'm forgetting all these games. I don't know why. Like Turkey. I didn't watch them. Like, Turkey. Netherlands beat Turkey. Good game, actually. Mm. Um. 2-1 <laughs> too many games man too many games too many TikToks yeah they beat them 2-1 managed to kind of overturn the game in about 6 minutes uh, from, from the 70th I'm not going to go too into the game as we don't have all the time in the world and there's lots of kind of like tweets and runners want to go through but how are we feeling about Netherlands as an opponent for England that's the question I've got for both of you they're beatable mm. I haven't really been moved too much by them but I think they have got threats um just want to do a quick shout out to Cody Gakpo because oh, okay. yeah, yeah, Jurgen yeah. Klopp I love Jurgen Klopp but you might have uh, some blood on your hands with this one because mm -hmm. yes a lot of blood he, he misprofiled Gakpo completely I give you that one he's ne he's, I've never seen Cody Gakpo have a consistent run at left wing for Liverpool and he, is, he hasn't he hasn't when he started no he's, no he played F9 after literally one game he played F9 one game he started played playing full nine. He played, played against United he played left wing Maybe, but he's never had... What, when he... 7-0? <laughs> <laughs> Cody, Cody Gapo has never played literally three games in a row at left wing. No, he hasn't. Liverpool, no, hasn't. No, 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 no. Yeah, and so then, he... yeah, I think he's been one of the players of the tournament. Uh, he's uh, Netherlands' biggest threat for me. Mm -hmm. um, Carl Walker hasn't had the best tournament either, so that's a big match-up for the, for the semi-final for me. 
Fair mm. enough. Now, to be fair, do you think just on Cody Gatford, do you think if he plays left wing consistently for Liverpool, we can see a different player? Definitely, but he's mm. never had the chance to for me. And um, do you think with Arsenal, there's yeah, I think I think Slot will profile him a little bit better. Um, mm. I'll be real. I think with with Gapko, I think it's one of them ones where international football makes him look a lot better than he actually is, and he's I think. Didn't his rep go up off the last? Isn't that where he kind of got that, his that rep? That is kind of where he got his rep in the first. He's one of, but you played very well for PSV though. Exactly, and that's my point. It is the Dutch um, league. It is yeah. the Dutch league, I know, so but still. International football is a lot slower. you got a lot more space, a lot more time on the ball. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. easier to get in behind. The defenders aren't as quick. They're definitely, the fullbacks he's coming up against, they're not as fast, they're not as strong as the fullbacks he's going to come up against in the Prem. Um, I'd the, like to see it though. No, I think the problem with him is that he doesn't have... The problem with him as a player, he's really nice technically and there are, there's definitely skills that are useful and that there's things he can do to a very high level, but he's not the complete package and he doesn't have the skills to play any exact one position. So he's not prolific enough to play up front and he's not fast enough to play left wing in the Prem at all. So I think it's still going to be a bit of a problem would, when it comes like to club career. I would like to see him at left wing. I, I think... You know, give it, give him a, give, build. give him a run in his best position, and let's, and there's let's a see lot what, you, there's a lot you'd have to build what, around him, and let's see what he can do. I, I, I mean, I know you, you have your opinion. I think, I think, let's give him a run in his best position and see what he can do. Like you said, there's, there's some good attributes there. He's got a hell of a strike on him, mm. and I think he's got That's, the ability to maneuver a shot. We still saw no, even at F nine. I always saw, I saw like yeah, yeah, yeah. good glimpses of yeah. of a player. It's when you know at times we're asking, we're, he's isolated and he's trying to hold the ball up against you know, centre backs and I'm see I'm seeing Cody Gapro trying to hold the ball up against William Saliba. Like give yeah. the guy a break. You know well, what I mean? So I've seen him so let's see. start the seat last season in uh, a number eight role. Oh like, my god. Oh, I even forgot about that. That, that is mad. Hey, and you and you're onto this poor boy. Come on, no, man. No, it's not Klopp's got the man in midfield. Oh, oh but it's his own fault. It's this is the point I'm making. He doesn't play a real football position. Oh, it's give, like <laughs> give, give him a go like at Pogba, left wing. man. All these players that you got, everyone has to find a position for them, nah, bro. It's your him, fault. Give him a go at left wing. Give him a he's go. Not fast if, enough. Do you think he's no, fast enough to play he's left wing in the Premier? Deceptively fast. That's not why he's got. A, he's he's got a little acceleration. Enough? No, not every winger has to no, be yeah, fast though. Right. Fine, but do you think he is fast enough? I think he's fast enough. Okay. He's not fast enough to be a dynamic. Like, listen, he's not going to be. Uh, a, is he fast? He's not going to be Mane or Salah, is he? But that, is that not what you need? You're Liverpool. You D want. D you want to get no, back no, to no, the top. No, no, I think Arn Slot might play a different style. Listen, Klopp. I think the reason why Klopp didn't play him left because Klopp likes yeah, Vum, yeah, yeah. from it from his wingers. So like, as soon as you you don't have that kind of pace and power, you're playing number eight or F nine when you're when you're when you're on the clock. But Arn Slot's football from, seems to be a, a little bit I don't slower. Know, I've, read, I've read a couple articles and it's like he wants. He, ha he does the like one winger is like cut inside, like fox in a box, basically Salah. And then one winger is byline, get the balls in. So, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, he's, that, he's, I, I think don't know if, how much that works for Cody Gap. His football still seems a little bit more progressive. So you never know. I know that's mm. how it's fair in the team play, but you, you know, you would hope a player, different profiles, you're going to shake things up differently. But anyway, we don't want to mm. get into a whole. Conversation about Liverpool. Worried, what do you good. think about Netherlands England? Do you think I'm worried, man? You're worried. You think yeah, the only, you mentioned that earlier? Yeah. The only good thing is now that I'm speaking it out loud is that I don't think their attackers are that great, and our defenders are like Rice, Gray, Stones. I feel like they should be Memphis Depay. They can definitely take care of him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That he's not been work. great this year. Nah. Right? He's not been great for the past <laughs> ten years, man. Like, he used to play all right for no, Netherlands. No, he never did. He's not a good player, man. He's rubbish. Yeah, they're lacking a striker. They are lacking yeah. a striker. Yeah. Um, yeah. If if they get through, I don't know. They'll have to be very clinical. I can see they'll they'll definitely cause us a lot more problems than than what we faced Switzerland. Before. Yeah. It's. It's do we turn up? I feel or like not? it might be quite a tight game. Yeah, it's do we turn up or not? Extra yeah. time. You think so? Yeah, Extra yeah. time, man. I oh, would definitely not winning in ninety. Nah, I don't know. Oh, okay, cool. Anyway, moving forward, a uh, couple of unless we've got any rondos, gonna kind of flash no, up a no, couple no. of Go tweets. People, then. Okay, cool. Let's flash up a couple of tweets. So I did the Foden one already. Uh, <laughs> we've got one here. Euro 2024 is the worst quality Euros or World Cup in my lifetime. All the big teams except Spain and Germany have been unwatchable. Where's the superstars, attackers, dribblers, patterns of play? Football has declined massively last 20 years. Players, brackets, robots are fitter. That's it. Facts. 100%. I agree with that. You agree with that? I don't know about like the worst tournament because I can't go through all of them in my head, but football has definitely declined in the, in the past 20 years. Like, in terms of 
as a, as entertainment. Yeah, it's not as good as it used to be for me. Yeah, uh, tactical spectacle. Yeah, it's, it's a load of games of chess in this Euros, and I don't know. I think we're seeing the. That's not what, no, not what we're here for. Nah, nah. No, no. It's the Pep Guardiola era, man. Yeah. Mm. And, what, what, and, do, and do you think that's it's the progression of tactics? Is that the yeah, yeah, definitely. Every coach, like the level of coaching all round, is so much better these days. Um, and you're seeing teams set up really, really well defensively, but I'm missing that individual brilliance that we used yeah, to have. Yeah, I miss it, 2000s, man. In the 2000s, man. In the 2000s, <laughs> oh, it was there. Right, it was there. rife. I think Owen had a really good quote on it saying that back in his day, he felt like, he felt he was basically, he was interviewing, I can't remember who it was with, but he was basically saying that he feels like the average footballer is so much worse on a technical level um, right now. And he mm. was saying back in his day, like to be a footballer, you had to have genuine talent, especially to yeah. be an attacking player. You had to have that real je ne sais quoi. Now he's like, I see a lot of athletes. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I think yeah. that's massive in this mm -hmm. system football yeah. era. A lot of these players, they're very, they're fit. You know, you don't see players that like, there's not a lot of players where you think this guy can produce mm -hmm. magic I think, for me, you know? I think he's not quite on the money. I think maybe, I think on average, the average player is probably a little bit better technically. Mm. But I think what the difference is, is the, uh, it's the variations at either end yeah. in terms of the worst and the best. And I think the best, the best players have got worse because of yeah, all that individualism. Yeah. I think you're actually Some right. Some of the what you worst players it. have got better just in terms of more technical coaching. They're told what to do. You get there's less Lee Catamos mm. and those yeah, type of yeah, players. Yeah, yeah. That's true. But you there's less Ronaldinho's, there's, yeah, there's less, less, Kaka's, there's less there's there's real no Rooney's, stars. There's yeah. no Owens. I also feel like the stakes now, because there's so much money in football, the stakes are like a lot higher. Like I feel like a lot of people um kind of years ago in risk. football. Yeah, yeah. Like years ago in football, people wanted to play to to, to win to, to entertain yeah. to, to, to win enjoy, now yeah. I feel like because <laughs> you play to stay there's so the much money you you, you want to stay up you yeah. want to like you know for instance Southgate like he's good, like being pragmatic you know you don't want to lose yeah, yeah, whereas yeah. I feel like before we we had people who just wanted to express themselves 100%. managers wanted to the players to express themselves players wanted to express themselves. now it's everyone seems a bit cagey you, you, you're focused more on yeah. oh we're not losing or we're you know we're compact mm. so. 100%. Yeah, well, I shame. think one thing though that has to be taken into account that no one's really mentioned is I think players are just tired, man. That's like, true. It's three seasons in a row now where they've played 60, factor. 70 games, no break. Like I think Bruno last season, or it was one of the seasons, maybe the one just coming off the World Cup, he played, him and Rashford played 70 games. Mm. That yeah, like that's ridiculous. Let's not act like, yeah, that, that's normal. Cause that is Yeah, normal. like these players are just, yeah. a lot of them are just tired. Yeah. Like they've got nothing left. They are playing to do. a ridiculous amount and they play like very high press, high energy systems. Yeah. So yeah. I do think it is a lot. So I've got another one here. I want to talk on this. So it's it basically says if players can do stutter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just the, the clips made me laugh. Sorry. Like says, the fact is, is you said if players can do stutter. stutter, yeah, stutter. stutter. <laughs> <laughs> so basically says if player can do if players can do stutter step step penalties, goalkeepers should be allowed to do this. Facts. And it's got like the video of Jersey Dudek basically coming yeah, yeah. well over the Facts. line. I can't lie, this is something that across Facts. the Euros has really been grinding Facts. my gears. Like I don't mind a stuttered run up, right? But I feel like, or a staggered, whatever you call it. But I feel like some of these are taking the piss, especially mm. because the fact now they've got like the VAR watching the mm. keeper. Like he can't even take his foot off the line, but we've got Lewandowski. I remember that goal against Poland where he's he stopped. Has, he's stopped. Ronaldo stopped. He has stopped. Ronaldo stopped. He has stopped. Ronaldo stopped. Ronaldo stopped. stopped. They're yeah. stopping in their run up. Bro, you, you cannot do that if you're being so harsh on the keepers. Like it is, you're just making it mm. so easy for even, the attacker to like, score. Even the hop, skip and the jump has gotten too far. Yeah, like, some of the hops are ridiculous. I feel yeah. like a, a little stagger, a little delay, you watch the keeper, but you cannot just, I'm sorry. you can't stop in your yeah. run-up, man. Like, I, I feel like they need to kind of address it and yeah. be a bit stricter with players. If you're going to literally watch the keeper with the camera on the, the attack, line, you have yeah, to be as strict, yeah. but they're not. Because I've seen, I've seen goalkeepers have to retake. I've seen them save penalties, have to retake mm. it, and then they give the striker scores, but... The striker stopped in his run up. That's what they, that's what happened in the Poland and France game. Lewandowski stopped before he kicked it, bro. Is, and then and yeah, mine and saved it. And then yeah. he made him retake it. And then he scored. I'm like, bro. It's not fair. What am I watching? It's not I've, fair. They made penalties too easy. Way too easy. And you can you can see it in how shootouts go these days. Like yeah. that um the United one in the Europa League where it went to where it went to um De Gea like, and Villarreal. Yeah, yeah, they scored like 11 Come out of 11. On, a lot man. of those were started run ups. Yeah, it's too easy. Yeah, because it's easy, bro. If you start your run up, he's gonna come off his line. 
or he's, that's true. Yeah, he's, he's gonna yeah, he's, he's gonna come off his line, line. And like, or, attackers, or he's gonna dive so early because he because he has to. Has to yeah. gamble. Yeah, and the, yeah. yeah. The conditions for attackers have just come a lot better. A lot like, easier, man. I don't mind like so like for instance like you, you look at Tony's. I think that's fine. Like it's you're you're moving at all points. You're just kind of continuous, continuously yeah. even if moving. Even slow, yeah, yeah. Even his one. Well, it's just his two steps. Yeah, but it's it's just not. You, you want them to just run up straight and take it? No, I don't Real mind. Real Brexit. No, no, no. No, no, no. I don't what's mind. What, what's all this stagger run up? Yeah. I don't what's mind all this stagger run no, no, We need no. to take it back. Have you seen? Have you, have you guys seen the clip on Twitter where Shira runs up and just smashes yeah. his... Yeah. Sure. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to bring it back. Don't get me wrong. Utter I don't... woke nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind the starters, but I think keepers should be allowed. They should be... Let them come off the line of, a bit, man. Come off the line a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess it's one of the two, isn't it? It gets to a point where, in a way, a, a penalty becomes physically impossible to save, like theoretically. Yeah. Do you think? I feel like the keeper coming off his line a little bit. I don't think it's that deep. It's that anyway, deep, I feel nah. like if it's if he comes off his line, like let it go. Um, if it's massive, right? Mm. Yeah, of course. <laughs> like the jersey dude yeah, that can't be fair. The worst is yeah, they pull it back when nobody has complained. I hate this thing they do in football now. It's like. They'll do, they'll do it with the offsides or the penalties or the fouls. And it's like, nobody has complained about decision. You're just applying the law yeah. like to the letter and not, not, not to the spirit. You're applying it to the letter of the law. And like, you're calling for a foul. That like, the, the opposite, the team that you're giving the foul for, they don't even want it. Mm. Like they, they've scored the penalty. The team's not complaining that the keeper's stepped off his line. Yeah. They think it's reasonable. They think it's fair. Just let it run, man. Yeah, facts. Cool. I've got another one here. Gula is better than I thought, man. I thought he was a fairy type 10, <laughs> but he's got dark, <laughs> sneaky pace and a good weak foot too. Yeah. What's our it. thoughts on Ada Gula? Had I've a great impressed. performance against Netherlands. That, that assist yesterday. Sweet, isn't it? Yeah, nice right foot to the back post. He, he has impressed me, but I think he may need to leave Madrid to get the game time to mm. elevate himself. Yeah, it's another, it's an other guard, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, facts. Mm. Uh, he might, yeah, he might suit going elsewhere just to build yeah, his profile but a little bit. To be fair, I did, I used to think the same thing with like Vinicius okay. at Real Madrid, that he needed to leave and when they bought him, there's his path into the first team yeah. isn't that mm. clear, but ball is ball, man. If he, if he really is Real Madrid level, nah, yeah, he'll, he'll find, force his way, he'll, he'll find his way. His way yeah. in. We'll have to see, yeah, he might need it. Maybe have a little loan, you yeah. never know. Um, That might do him mm. well, I do but think. Either way, is like, even with Odegaard, if it goes that way, he'll still find He'll find, he'll find, find a way. Level. Real ballers, they, you ballers know what I'm ball, saying? They, they, yeah. they pull through, don't they? And I, th and I think he might be just that. Seems to have it, man. Mm. 19 years of age, the way that he's been able to, you know, raise Turkey's level, it's, it's no easy feat. Yeah, he's had a lot, lot of pressure on his shoulders. I was about to say, a lot of pressure from a country in general, yeah. and he's actually lived up to it. And Turkish is very passionate as well. Yeah. I think he's got one goal, three assists, or two assists, so he's, nice. he's done really well. And that goal was a banger Yeah, as well. it was unreal. Uh, got another one here. A little shout out to Copper America. We haven't done a lot of coverage over them as, you know, we, we are in England and the years have been going on. But um, so Endrick didn't have the best game as Brazil crashed out to Uruguay. Oh, he had one pass completed. He, yeah. he completed one pass out of five <laughs> and it was the kickoff pass. <laughs> kick What's off? Pass. Yeah. Endrick's got a lot of PR recently. Uh, He's obviously moving to Madrid. What's our thoughts on him? He's a PR king, isn't he? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I didn't see much of it. I just I saw the stats. Comment. Yeah, but I mean... I never seen him play. I'd be real. I didn't talent. see it, but I'm going to comment anyway. <laughs> Listen, I just feel like with Endrick, right, as far as I've seen, I've seen him, I've watched him a couple of times. I just, I don't really like... Listen, I know we're in the social media age. I know PR is massive, but I don't like players getting loads of PR that's not linked to their football. Like, he's got this move to Madrid and I'm seeing loads about his girlfriend, the fact that this oh, guy what? mentions, so, you know, so many players from the 90s or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I miss playing with... Who was it the, the other day? Rude Hullet or, or whoever it is. Like, this is all I'm seeing. And, I'm not, and I was like, I'm not really seeing a lot of comps. I'm not seeing a lot of highlights. Yeah. And I was saying, the last time a player had hype like this come from the Brazil League... Neymar was Neymar and I was, was watching I was watching Neymar's comps in IT lessons yeah. bro yeah. like he like, like you wouldn't out. believe I knew that we had a real baller coming I haven't seen a lot so he's only like 18 um, and he's a striker that, that position does take a while to mature into but just for me you know, you know do, do more talking because you know the football doesn't look like it's talking right now mm. so maybe we should do more of that than mm. giving him lots of PR I still think he has a fair bit to develop and I don't feel like the hype is necessary at the moment. But there's a talent there. There's definitely how, talent. How old is he? Is he? It's like 18. 18, okay. There's yeah. definitely talent there, but he's not ready to lead the line for Madrid. No, no, no. Which, which is what people are suggesting. What? With what the, PR, they with the PR that he's getting, oh, no, no, no. they're suggesting like, it's, it's someone who's going to walk into the into the lineup, surely. 
No chance. And I, and I don't think he's anywhere near that. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, I think we should just calm down a little I mean, bit. Madrid's transfer policy since Neymar, though, is hilarious. Perez <laughs> said, said, nah. He since said, I Neymar never, said, he said, he said, I would never you, miss one again. I would never miss one again. He said, this guy hears about <laughs> he a South said, American bro. cooking in there. Cook. <laughs> you, know, you know when everyone bro, he's a kidnapper. You know when there's a motive, you know when there's a motive yeah, everyone goes to you don't go. And all of a sudden you it was lit, everyone drew, it was best motive of all the time. All of a sudden every weekend I'm dead. I'm dead. I've never missed nah, that. Perez has got his scouts ready. Yeah, they have like no. and even like kind of across like I think because you know kind of transfer fees have really gone up as well. All these young talents, Madrid are on them. Mm. I heard nothing about Arda Gula before he before he joined. Mm. No, I, I heard of him. Oh, you had heard of him. I, I didn't hear about anything oh, the Twitter, about him. The Twitter tacticals liked him. Oh, okay. Same with Hendrik, to be fair. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay, fair enough. Maybe we have time for one more tweet. Um, any good ones here? Oh, we've got one about Rice. So Rice, Declan Rice has made more tackles 16 than any other midfielder at the Euros. Someone's quoted that and said he's held to Cruz's standard of passing, but nobody's held to his standard of defending. It's a good point, to be fair. Uh, people do expect a lot from Rice, things that he he just can't do. Mm. So I do hear that. He can't progress the ball yeah. that well in that in that deep um, position midfielder role. He's a destroyer. Um, keep it simple. Uh, put out the fires and then play it simple, literally. Uh, I don't know mm. why people expect so much from him. Yeah, um, from, from his style of play, I, I don't think he should. I mm. can answer that question. It's because of Arsenal fans. Okay. The problem is them. Um, because of the way they've hyped him up and what they've told, mm. what they've said. They, and they act like he's this... When we're analysing England and their problems, they act like Rice is this kind of uncriticisable player mm. and that we couldn't even fathom maybe dropping him from the team and... Okay. With the way England are playing, no, not one player has that luxury. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you think they kind of gas him up as if he's this yeah. hybrid destroyer, deep line yeah. playmaker, and that's the reason why he's, he yeah. gets cooked because everyone's, oh, <laughs> everyone's like, let's problem. It's like, yeah. you can't tell me. <laughs> Fair enough. I, can't, I think that's a good note to yeah, end on. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. We will be back next week again <laughs> after the Euros final uh, to do our kind of whole sort of Euros, ra- Euros roundup and everything like that. Like, comment, subscribe, and all of that lovely stuff. We will be back again soon. Come on, England.